So in organizing this event, we decided that we wanted to uh, uh, reward outstanding student efforts in the area of community engagement. And so we put out a call asking for students to tell us about their projects, what they were doing with partners, and uh, then we set up a subcommittee that looked at all the, the applications that came in, and uh, they were really tremendous. And we picked nine that are going to do three-minute sort of summaries of what they did in their community engagement projects. And, uh, well, I, I've been amazed by them. I know what they are. You don't yet know what they are. Uh, but uh, I really want to thank the presenters for coming. Uh, <clears throat> a number of them are individual projects. Some are group projects, but just one of the group is presenting. And uh, in all cases, <clears throat> we will be giving them a, uh, a gift voucher so that they can take themselves out for dinner if they like, or in group projects, they can uh, take their group out for lunch on campus. Uh, so we really want to thank uh, the presenters who are about to come and Danette for doing some work to get them all prepped for today. So I'll pass the mic over to Danette. Okay, well these are, uh, as um, uh, Peter had said, these are nine amazing projects. Uh, very diverse from undergraduate to graduate to uh, the student experience office. So they'll have three minutes uh, each uh, to present their projects. So we'll, we'll go very rapidly. And uh, I'll be doing the timing and uh, keeping them on track. So the first group that's up is uh, Anna Tomczyk and her group. Aging a natural human process that everyone at one point will have to go through. Eventually, you'll start to realize that you're no longer capable of doing everything that you once could. Once, walking a block to the nearest bus stop was not a big deal, but now it may mean that you will not be taking the bus, which means you will not be going to your beloved book club. At 24, it's hard for me to imagine being so dependent on my surrounding community, whether it's on the distance to the closest bus stop, the quality of the sidewalks, or the number of stairs in my home. And yet, so many older adults face these issues every day. Through Seniors' Eyes was a team-based graduate thesis project that inspires intergenerational learning and collaborative community building within two retirement homes here in Ottawa. The focus of this project was to explore the relationships between the uh, age-friendly communities and the quality of life experienced by Canada's aging population. Our role as master students and as researchers was to engage with our older adult participants and to give their stories a voice by conducting both surveys and focus groups. Now I must admit, the process was quite lengthy and at times slow, but in the end, it was worth it. Having spent more than a month researching in each of these homes, we were able to build meaningful relationships with both the staff and the residents. This time spent with our new and older friends quickly encompassed us in their daily activities with invitations to join their knitting circles, their exercise groups, and their reading clubs. And let me tell you, having someone read to you is surprisingly enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> but more importantly, we were able to determine which factors in their surrounding community were of most importance to them. Some we expected, while others were a surprise. To optimize the reach of our project, we connected with the City of Ottawa and Age Friendly Ottawa in hopes of providing a meaningful, meaningful insight to building age-friendly communities. This project gave us all a new perspective on our own communities, but more importantly, um, it, gave an it gave the residents an opportunity to share their stories and to meaningfully contribute to their own communities. It's amazing how much we learned through the process, and a little bit of advice for other people who may be interested in community engagement, keep your mind open. It's incredible how much you will gain through the process. And it's the, the things that you don't know you will learn, the unexpected things, that in the end will be of greatest value. In terms of our project, we believe that engaging in these communities and other age-friendly communities is essential for building sustainable solutions for age-friendly communities for people of all ages. And in the words of Jane Jacobs, Cities have the capability of providing something for everybody, only because and only when they are built by everybody. Thank you. <laughs> 